Trish and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making yummy, delicious Italian pepperoni and cheese pizza. So here we go. Is I've taken my two pizza crusts that are gluten free, yeast free. I've made them, popped them in the oven, baked them about three quarters of the way and now we have them back here. I'm going to make my gluten free, yeast free pizza dough recipe. Just check out my YouTube. What we're going to do is make our pepperoni and cheese pizza. We have eight ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese, a cup of homemade pizza sauce. You're going to need at least six ounces of pepperoni. All right, so we're going to just make this all come together. Okay, so on goes the sauce. If you don't have homemade sauce, you can always use the canned sauce. Homemade's always better. Less preservatives, but when in a rush, do what you have to do. We like a lot of sauce. Now, if you didn't bake your crust three quarters of the way, it would be very difficult to add a lot of sauce because what would happen is your dough would be soggy and your pizza would be soggy, and that would be a disaster. That's why we're baking our gluten-free, yeast-free crust three quarters of the way so that we don't have to worry about having a soggy pizza. Okay, there it is. Nice, heavy-duty, homemade pizza sauce. Just watch my video on how to make crust and then come on over and make your pepperoni and cheese pizza or whatever kind of pizza you want to make. On goes our cheese. I like to use the block cheese because the shredded cheese tends to, or all the ones I can find, has niacin in it, which is an antibiotic that you don't want to be eating. We have enough antibiotics and other meats and things that they're adding them to that we sometimes don't even know about. Right. There's our cheese. Oh my gosh, I used eight ounces of cheese for one pizza. Uh-oh. So you're going to need eight ounces of cheese for each pizza. Wow, that went quick. I'm going to pepperoni there. This is making me hungry just looking at it. Okay, there's our pizza ready for the oven. This one will be on its way of baking while I'm still working on my other one over here. So everybody's starving. When it goes, always remove to set your timer. And all the time, if you don't set your timer, you're going to have some burnt food. Or at least I do. Ten minutes, or twenty-five. Preheated oven. All right, we're working on some more cheese since I used 8 ounces on just one little 12 ounce pizza. We love cheese though. And I'll show just you the result. 10 minutes. There's my second pizza. No, you're not imagining things. Those are, of course, tomatoes and I have some peppers there on the second pizza. I apparently used up all my turkey really quicker than I thought. If you don't have enough, you just gotta substitute with, uh, like I have here, tomatoes and peppers. So, here we go. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Timer. Pizza's ready. Let's see what we've got here. It's tasty. Perfect. This might not brown as much on the edges as you'd like, but you can leave it a little longer if you need to. Mmm. Crispy. Mmm. Very good. My gluten-free, yeast-free, pepperoni and cheese pizza that looks fabulous. Tastes yummy. Call everybody in here and we're going to have a feast. See you next time. Bye-bye.